Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to Let's Build a Cluster Missile Cruiser. Now there's good news to be had about this thing, and that I've decided not to scrap it. And we're finally getting back to it after a quite a long time. I've been letting this uh, gather dust on the shelf for a bit. And I was, as I said, seriously considering just scrapping the whole thing and starting over again because I didn't like how this was going. I realized I was making way too many just mistakes in building it. This is not a hull type or shape I'm used to making. It's just, I thought it was a bit of a poop show. The fact that uh, there was a bug uh, in which local weapon controllers couldn't fire cluster missiles uh, didn't help either. But, uh, as can be uh, gathered by the name of this thing, uh, this a version of the craft you're looking at right now... Uh, I just deleted something, don't know what it was. Uh, it does have a local weapon controller and it works just fine. And I'll prove it right now by spawning in our friendly friend the Marauder right there. And also, uh, broadside settings would probably be a good idea. And so, the missiles fire uh, quite nicely. That's nice and cool. And the mines drop underneath and they go uh, cut bluey in a very satisfying manner. So that's all fine. It's functional. It's not bugs. And so, uh, with that in mind, we're just going to keep carry on with this. But there is quite a few... Well, there are. Proper grammar border-wise. You remember how to English, right? Uh, there are quite a few things we need to add and uh, a few things we need to change. And uh, the first and probably the most important thing is uh, the ammo compartment. So, this applique panel thing uh, was a bit of an experiment on my part. And while I still think that this kind of uh, compartment uh, could work, uh, just like having... Just to save space and cost. Well, no, no, save weight and cost, my bad. Um... You could just encase the ammo and applique panels. It doesn't really work on a ship uh, this big. With a ship this big that's uh, easy to hit, you really need to use heavy armor or bust. So, first thing we're going to do is uh, change this and uh, replace everything, all this applique with heavy armor. And then the next thing we're going to have to do is basically make a huge amount of uh, roll props. And, like, altitude props in order to get this thing floating. Because this is going to make it sink. Uh, just know, actually, what I might do... Yes, in fact, I am going to do exactly that. I'm going to have two uh, separate uh, ammo compartments. Just because having... It's actually got more ammo than it needs. As uh, uh, those of you who have watched uh, the previous bits of this would probably know. And it just... Uh, it doesn't need that much, actually. It's a huge amount of ammunition. And let's get you out of the water so we can see what we're doing. And a little bit wider. And thank uh, Christmas for this new tool we have right here, which allows us to delete a whole bunch of blocks all at once. So if I am correct, three, oops, four, there we go. So, okay, so now what we have here, we have a nice empty space and we're going to fill that up. With some heavy armor. Now, in a perfect world, actually, this thing would be way smaller uh, than I've made it because I've really I've made it a little bit too big. There's also not enough room uh, for uh, what do you call it? There's not really room for uh, lambs or anything like that. Well, there is a little bit. I could stick a tiny lambs in there just to swap the odd cram shell. And uh, but yeah, we're doing this first. How many layers of metal is that? That's all. Okay, what is that? Spaced armor? No, it isn't. So here, we're going to do this. So, uh, pray for me. This might also this might all be a very dumb idea. It's in there. Don't actually want you hugging the missile compartment because that would be bad. That is the nice thing about the new uh, ammo update. Like, we are in dev test still, by the way. And uh, when that goes uh, live, is that it's a little bit easier uh, for Craft to get away with uh, not huge ammo compartments. Because that, that was always a little bit of a pain in the butt. Anything with missiles just needed so much ammo. And I think we can get away with that. And that. And totally could do the same thing I did before. I think might actually just leave 
a lot of this compartment empty because uh, we're going to need the buoyancy. We're going to need a big air gap in there. So there, 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 there. That's very nice. And another huge regret I have uh, with this craft is that the, uh, the bottom hull is only one meter thick. Uh, I now know, and I've learned this the hard way, uh, that that's a very bad idea. Simply because, uh, especially on a craft like this, that is this big, you really do want at least two meters on the bottom. Because uh, it's it's just more secure against torpedoes and, uh, funnily enough, against uh, timed cram shells. So the kind of thing you find on the crossbones and the plunder and all that, they have a nasty habit of falling just short of hitting the hull sneaking underneath and then exploding and if you have anything delicate on the underside of it like oh i don't know coincidentally uh sonar uh then you are that's gonna get destroyed and if you only have like one layer of metal underneath that is gonna open holes in your craft so uh yeah like two meters on the bottom is a good idea and like yeah so like that's uh, speaking of uh much regrets uh over on uh, Menti's channel, so if you don't know about Menti, he's uh, done lots of uh, From the Dips uh, tournaments. Uh, I think Battleship Brawl Season 5, yeah, that's the one. Battleship Brawl Season 5 is going on over there right now. Uh, it's a bit of a hoot. I admit I haven't watched all the episodes because there's more than 80 of them. He's quite prolific, he uploads a lot of them, and it's just lots and lots of ships are involved. It's very long going. But uh, my entry is back in rotation, and I am... Dying with embarrassment uh, every time uh, I see that thing because it was made some time ago and I've actually improved uh, my building style a little bit since then. And just looking back on it, it's just, it's like I've made so many mistakes with it and just so many bad decisions and I should have known better. And uh, that's sad, but that's how it goes. And so, yeah, it's like, I don't know, that's, that's how it goes, really. Like, uh, it's, it's still kind of, it's amusing to me that uh, one of my best known uh, craft, I guess, on the internet is uh, the Scylla, which I kept pronouncing as Scylla, apparently that's wrong, because looking back on that thing, like, and I guess we all, we all, all of us who play From the Depths kind of have this feeling at some point or another, it's just the feeling is like, God, what was I thinking, it was so bad. But yeah, the Scylla's like that, because uh, I... Actually, like, let's just save this quickly, and I'll quickly... Actually, did I even save it? I did save it, so... Right here, just for those of you who are wondering, I... Just for giggles, kind of made another Scylla-style craft, admittedly with a slightly different hull. And I can safely concern this kind of uh, design isn't very good, because uh, just there's too many turrets, they're, like, not enough pellet sharing and all that stuff. It does look quite nice, I have to admit. I could make this a lot better. There's a lot of empty space in there I could jam delicious stuff into. But generally, this kind of turret layout is a very bad idea, because they're too exposed, and because you have so many of them, you can't afford to make them big, and you can't afford to make them that armored. And just, uh, even though this thing can uh, hold its own against a crossbones, not crossbones, sorry, a, uh, you know, yeah, crossbones, it doesn't do a very good job of it, and quite frankly, it's not good. So, I'm gonna pull you out of play and delete you because the what the f all oh, right. So, yeah, heavy armor. Heavy armor is a thing. So immediately, what we're gonna need to do is put altitude props uh, on here, which means a PID. And I do think we have a PID on this craft. Did I leave space in here? I did, kind of, right, hmm, it's like, it's a weird feeling to like, come back to a design you haven't worked on in so long, because like, it's like you're looking at something that was made by, a, oh, oh, here's a room in here, oh, perfect. Perfecto! It's like you're looking at something that was made by someone else, and you just... You're looking at it thinking, what? This... whatever it is, like, looking at it, it's like, wow, that's so dumb, who would do that? And then you realize that the dummy who did it, uh, was you! 
it was you the whole time. Okay, so there is our basic thing. And we've got... These are our roll props. Those are the roll props. And the center of mass is now all the way back here because uh, a heavy armor booty. So now our altitude uh, props start here. So this is like... This is also the problem with trying to make something work that uh, possibly didn't before. Is that uh, you have to make it work, babe. That's not going to be enough. Oh, I should also do this because Nito 2019 is going to be upon us uh, any day of the week now. So uh, really should uh, get used to just building in uh, 2019 settings. Okay, so let's push those particulars. And how would that do? This thing has a lot of alloy, hopefully that could... Oh my goodness, that's actually that's actually enough. Wasn't expecting that, I'd need to put a whole lot more than that. Uh, having... Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on a minute. I didn't even, did I? I thought I put an air pump in here. Looks like I didn't. So let's put one right here. Alright, that's uh, not as terrible as I thought it was going to be, but we do need pitch control. Okay, we have some pitch control. We need more pitch control. Alrighty then. That's another reason to... Uh... Another reason to kind of uh, make a hull that's two meters thick on the bottom, because it means you don't compromise hull armor by sticking props underneath it. How we do it? Uh, not great. We need more of the pushy pushy. By most I mean. Uh... Okay, not ideal. Uh, this, what you are seeing right here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, not ideal. Not ideal at all. Why did I put on that freaking accent? Ooh! Oh, I should replace these things uh, with uh, better azipods, because... Uh, actually, will my azipod... Oh yeah, a hilarious thing. Uh, uh, this is a misspelling. Uh, this is meant to be spin blocks. I called it uh, sin blocks, and now we're stuck like that. So this thing is technically very cheaty and I can't do that never mind let's stick with these crap ones for now right let's do 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 there we go and a few There we go. Yes, uh, before you ask, I know I am going to hell for this. For this uh, really ugly bottom. Bottom of my craft. Now, probably premature to do th Fudge. Probably premature to do this. Uh, oh yeah, if you're wondering why uh, my usual stuff in the toolbar isn't there, that's because uh, uh, my copy of From the Depths uh, glitched out the other day and kind of wiped uh, my profile a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. All my blueprints were safe, which is honestly all I really cared about. But uh, yeah, it just it, it messed up with some stuff. But that's okay, because uh, uh, I got some help and figured it out, and uh, it's all good. So thank you to the people who helped. You know who you are, and I love you. So there we go. Yeah, that looks slightly less crap. It still looks pretty crap. Let's let's uh, let's not beat around the bush. It feel it looks quite crap. And mm, I really should do have room there for other stuff. Okay. Let's just do this. Let's not do that. Okay. Do 
Okay, so this thing is uh, functional. That's nice. Currently burning through fuel like no one's business. Now we need more propellers because this thing isn't fast enough for my tastes. This thing is uh, trying to look like something like a modern warship and that means it's fast. It's gotta be fast. What am I doing? Like, what am I doing? I could totally put large props back here. Do himself. What does he do? He does this. What does he do next? He does this. What does he do next? He does this. Technically, completely legal what I'm doing. Why am I even saying that? This is the video game. Everything's legal. Okay, now my favorite thing, and I picked this up uh, from a few of a wellness craft. Uh, one of his tournament craft in particular that uh, he was kind enough to lend to me once. And that's uh, just gluing propellers all over the underside. Very handy trick. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Then we do. Moving right along. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I actually watched something uh, on YouTube the other day. What was it? It was a. It was a very special performance uh, of the Rainbow Connection uh, from the Muppet movie. Way, way back in the day. I can't believe how old that movie is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, yeah, it was uh, just Kermit the Frog singing the Rainbow Connection, like in a swamp somewhere. So over on the official Muppets YouTube channel, in case you're wondering. And I thought it was very sweet. And thought it was very good. I got a nostalgia trip from it. I always remember that song as sounding better than it actually is. I guess that's what nostalgia does for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Probably don't need to go that fur. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. I was right all along. Ten. Count to ten, me lad. Count to ten, me fellow, me lad, me duck. That's actually the advantage of having a craft like this, which is very broad. Uh, you can stick a lot of propellers on the underside of it. And let's go over here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And right here. Can't do that. Don't have enough room. That's okay, though. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoop! Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoop. Good. Groovy, baby. See, that's a particular phrase I want to come back, and I'm gonna keep using until uh, people politely ask, uh, until people politely ask me to leave, and that is groovy. Groovy is a groovy word, and I will not hear anything against it, except, uh, except if you really, really insist. But uh, then, uh, 
Uh, you ain't a you ain't a hep cat if you're like that. I should start. I should lo actually look up some genuine issue like uh, jazz slang just to annoy people with. It'll be so fun. I could prefab all of this. I can. In fact, I will. I should have prefabbed it to begin with. What am I doing with my life? Come to think of it, you're watching this right now. What am I doing with your life? I could be doing things so much better. Although that's honestly literally everything you could, we do, you can say that. You go to the bathroom and just, I don't know, you're reading something on your phone while having a poo. Potentially you could be doing that better. Like, not even joking. Like, we could all do things better. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Will that do it? No! Wrong! Need to go. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How about now? Yay! Okay, so the advantage of sticking small props, uh, underneath your craft like this is that uh, they have very little drag and you only need to stick one uh, super drag reducing block in front of them uh, in order to uh, in order to like uh, what's the word I'm looking for in order to like counter man or their drag you stick large props under here like I've done before in uh, my naive foolishness uh, yeah so no, I, want... No, I want it like that maybe I want it like that one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Oh, I believe I just made this work. No, I didn't. I did not. I am a liar. And uh, liar, liar, pants on fire. There we go. And there we need to do the same thing. And all those lovely slope reducing blocks I just uh, put over there uh, were for naught because we've got uh, not very good slopey blocks over here. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make you live with. Will I live with it as well? Probably. I'm the one making this boat. Or ship. Okay. And yes, I don't think this counts as a cruiser anymore. Wrong. There we go. Missile cruiser thing. Now, how fast is this puppy? It better be damn fast for all the props I just put on it. Okay, 21, 22. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're making progress. 25. Wow, you actually are going a little bit like stink, honey. Did I just call a ship honey? I think I did. I think the lockdowns made me lonely. Which is impossible! I never get lonely. Now, let's actually take that off. Underside props. Change the gun. Hmm. There's actually, there's not much to be done here. I do want to stick some kind of extra thing on here. We have a lot of power left over. We could... Hmm, do we want to stick our lambs on here? There were some very good suggestions uh, last uh, episode of this that unfortunately I didn't go back and check, so I don't know what they were. Uh, torpedo defense, at the very least, is something we should do right the hell now. So I've learned to stick my torpedo poppers on the front uh, of craft. In fact, right here will do nicely. It won't be pretty, but then again, this craft isn't pretty to begin with. So, uh, what? The not that you absolute banana. It's a uh, counter turrets. Shark popper mark two. And oh god damn it! This is not what I wanted in life. I forgot that I changed this thing. I actually don't like this new version uh, at all. It's got slightly better armor, but then again, it also doesn't serve. We'll just have to live with it. Do we have still have enough detection for all our... No, we don't. We don't. This is where I get to kick myself for bloody... 
Ay, ay, banana, yay. Did I say banana? Yes, I did. I, I know. Banana is an inherently funny word. I need to stick this thing somewhere else because it's hurting my feelings. There we go. No, no. Not height either. No, no. No. Oi! Not that length. Border wise, what are you doing, man? I can't believe you, man! Okay, so now we have achieved some semblance of something. Now we need to fix it. Uh, God. The mode is a good idea. Okay, that's a good thing. All right. She is going decently fast. Those little daddy blades. And all little props underneath it. Wee. This is not going to be my best work, people. Uh, I'm going to tell you straight up. What we can do, while we're here, we can armor this up for a start. Like, this dies way too easily, I have found. be very nice is uh, five meter blocks. Um, pretty sure that's been requested uh, millions of times um, throughout the development of From the Depths, but uh, it would be nice to have, at the very least. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, if nothing else, we're gonna stick some missiles, more missiles in here. Medium, Medium missiles. I don't actually have much of a plan for these things, so they're just going to be like there. What am I doing? Might as well just place the connectors. The connectors! Otherwise, be careful you do not turn French again! Or your French subscribers, they will leave you to die in the cold alone. I have no idea how many French subscribers I have, or even like French speaking uh, subscribers. Because I know at least uh, there's at least one guy who, uh, who likes to hang out who's, uh, I think he's from the more French part of Canada, don't remember which. And uh, that's about it, really. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I'm a, I'm a great YouTuber. I remember my peeps. I totally remember my peeps. Okay, let's just do this, I could probably stick way more in there, but I'm not going to because laziness, I guess, I suppose. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this as well. And let's do the fill because that's a great way to make missiles. And now, what shall these things be? They shall be mostly explodey spody. Largely because I just like explosive missiles, they're cool. And AP actually wait, 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 no. Stick a fin on the front, stick an EP thing there. Explosive there, APN. Target protection guidance. Uh da -da 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 -da. and signal processor. Right there. Thrust duration. Twenty seconds all we need, so. Pretty fast missiles. Uh, yeah, we could stick short-range uh, thrusters on these guys, but uh, 
Not going to bother. Why would we? Apart from all the good reasons. Okay, one, two, three, four, and now more surge protectors. See, like right, right here, te reason why a one meter thick. Oh, hello. Uh, you're in the way. That's very convenient. Okay, right there is uh, one of the reasons why it's not a good idea to have uh, to have just a, a one meter of protection underneath something. actually like uh, modern uh, style well modern style ships are just probably uh, cringing their poor eyes out right now and uh, you have my sympathies but also uh, be quiet and let us have our fun also we need to reinforce the superstructure too which I'm not actually gonna do what was I th order wise just do this just do this. It's better for your brain. Which is okay, using single blocks. It's not going to be an issue, but it's going to cover it like this. There we go. That looks slightly less crap. There we go. There we go. There we go. Cunning thing I can do here, actually. I can add a little bit more. Where is? Where is it? There. I put that in. No, I didn't put that in upside down. I am a genius, I guess. That goes there. That goes there. Now there's actually a point to this thing being as tall as it is. Lovely, jolly. Okay, that's coming together, coming together. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be incredibly lazy and just stick an ECM on this. Oh yeah, there are changes in dev test, by the way. Uh, there's new wings added, so where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Custom wings are a thing. I should probably do a video on that. And... New ducts, hello. Perfect! No one told me about these. Wow! Heavy armor ducts! That sound you just heard was me creaming my pants! Sorry if that's a bit too graphic, but... Oh yes, yes please, all of that. Right. I'm just gonna do because, like, I cannot be bothered to make missile interceptors right now. Because I'm a lazy, lazy boy. Uh, one, two, three, four. Do 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 do. Let's go here. I put it in K. There we go, ECM controller. ECM jammers are... I don't want to say they're completely broken, but they are very strong. Ugh, excuse me. Burp. Burp, burp, burp. Yeah, these things are... Slightly broke. And it's not connected. Why would it be? What? Mm. Why would my life be easy? It already is easy, Borderwise. Quit your whining, fool. What you got to complain about? Apart from the global pandemic I'm not allowed to actually talk about. Ok, 
go. That's not great. But it will do, baby. Alright. What am I doing with my life? What are you doing, Butterwise? You freaking zombie crabfish. Three, go, go, go. One, two, three. Wow, I can feel my computer vibrating uh, with my foot. It doesn't like, uh, she doesn't like working hard, does my PC. I don't blame her, but uh, that is your, that's your lot in life uh, right now, darling. First I call the ship darling, now I call my PC darling. I think lockdown has uh, actually driven me insane. So now I need to do this to stop. Yeah, there's a bug with ACBs, it seems, it seems that uh, you set them to max effect range, they don't actually affect anything. Lots of little bugs in that test. Here we go, how much energy do we have? We have... We do this now. We have 18,000 power to spare, roughly, so let's set it to that. Or 10,000, I guess. Now, let's see if that works. So we're going to see if the Marauder can even see us. It appears to be working just fine. Rorda has trouble uh, telling where we exist. I'm totally okay with this. Alright, this thing is uh, closer to being finished than I thought, actually. Base okay, we're gonna just combat test this thing now and see if it actually needs anything else. Uh, that's... Hmm... This thing is actually turning out better than I would have thought. I am going to reinforce the superstructure, though, in the laziest way possible. I'm just going to uh, do this and hit F. And then I'm going to do it again. There. Try blowing off my superstructure now. So now we're going to do this thing. Uh, it's got no material storage. That is a problem. So we are going to put some material storage in there. Uh, right in the most protecty bit. That's an explodey bit, actually. Let's not do that. Let's put the material storage somewhere sensible. Damn. Mm. It's cramped in here. Let's just put it here, there, and everywhere. You, sir, go over there, and you, sir, go over there, and we're just gonna do this. What are we doing? We're gonna stick repair what's right next to the air pump, because that's a good idea, why not? I'm going to stick... Two repair bots. Right here. Material storage goes right here. And a whole bunch of other material storage. Right here. Yeah. Is that right next to an explodey gun? Yes it is, but that's what two layers of metal are for. And here. That uh, would be exposed if it wasn't for all the armor. Groovy groovy, so now you've got that. Let's test you against a crossbones, because you, my girl, are now expensive. also should uh, change the main gun. I kind of want to change it, but at the moment it seems to be doing a decent enough job. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Way over here. I've tried out the custom uh, battle thing again recently, and I have to say... Uh, how do I say this without being mean uh, to the devs? It's terrible. It's really buggy. It's really misleading when it comes to testing a craft. Like, I was spawning craft in, and admittedly, this is dev test, and, like, I don't know. I think a lot of changes aren't playing well with the custom battle thing. But I was frequently spawning things in, like, and they didn't have any ammunition. So that's, uh, 
That's an issue. Let's go here and let's watch. And then this. And I really need to tweak uh, those uh, stop. Oh my. Yeah, I need to tweak that. I need to fix that, like, right now. And ECM has done its work. Crossbones uh, doesn't actually know where we are. But it uh, looks like uh, we are going to hurt its feelings considerably. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. A full... Did we just make a stealth cruiser by accident? Nope, here we go. Crap! Okay, what did we lose there? That was a hefty cram volley. Uh, we appear to have lost uh, quite a few propellers on the underside. But aside from that, not much damage. See, that's that's three layers of metal. That's uh, not what I'd call excessive, but... Uh, uh, that is going to whiff. It's almost going to whiff. Did lose some daddy blades, though. Or some daddy blades, as I sometimes call them. Don't ask me why I call them that, I just do. But I think we're winning quite handily. Assuming I don't jinx myself by saying that. Just blew up my torpedoes! Rude! Very rude. Actually, wow, the ECM is, like, pretty much all this thing needed, really. Combining with the fact that the EMP is kind of frying, uh... Yeah, like, it's kind of frying the detection on the crossbones. I'm just a, I can't remember if I stuck ammo processors on that thing. I don't think I did. Why is that gun not firing? Oh, that's because I did. Oh, bravo, Borderwise. You deleted the ammo controller and then didn't put it back down again. <laughs> a round of applause, please. A round of applause uh, for Borderwise and his absent mindedness. His, uh, I don't know, v vitamin deficiencies or something like that, uh, ma making his brain not work. And this. Well, I guess this is meant to be a missile cruiser, so missiles are the main aim of the game here. Okay, those mines. I regret nothing now. Those mines make me so happy. Whoa. Do you know how hard it is to actually make the crossbones roll like that? Because there's so much wood on the underside, it just floats. Plus the PID. We're managing it. We've just... We've flipped a crossbones. I think I now like this cruiser. Damn. I might just, uh... Call or finish this episode and do the world's laziest paint job. Do need to fix uh, the angle of fire on those, uh... On those wee guns. Or at the very least, like, uh... Tweak their fail-saves. Wow, we've capsized the crossbones. That's impressive. those little mines go to work. Actually, if we do what I'm planning to do now and stick like a, a chaff generator on this, uh, we might be able to make it immune to radar guarded missiles as well. Because the crossbones was actually having real trouble aiming at that pretty darn big boat. Ship. Okay, it's a ship. I know. Please stop yelling at me. Well, the crossbones, uh... This is like... I test against the crossbones a lot, because it's quite a powerful uh, faction craft to test against, for when you find it. But yeah, wow, like... It's very rare I see it capsize. I'm not sure how we manage that. I think all the mines from underneath must have just... Either blown off the roll props, or the EMP from either the big missiles or the medium missiles just must have fried a PID somewhere. Does it have a... This thing does have a PID, right? 
Yeah, it, it does. It does. Yeah, that's where they were. Oh, I guess they got destroyed as well. Well, that's, uh, we won that one. Alright, so now we know what to do, and this is a classic example of why combat testing is a good idea, because it instantly makes things clear about what you should do next. I should even put hatches uh, on those missiles, but I don't want to. Okay, that is fail safe. Let's make that two meters. Just gonna do this for now. The devastatingly unsexy uh, content, just uh, tweaking the numbers on fail safes. I know, I know, I know. Don't need to tell me I know. Actually, the only person I'm telling right now is myself. Oh yeah, I just remember the last video I uploaded, uh, I reminded my future self uh, to make this very video. So, yay, I like, uh, past self doesn't, past borderwise doesn't have to hurt the feelings of uh, uh, present borderwise, which is me, or future borderwise, who lives in the future. I don't talk to him much, he uh, kind of doesn't, we don't hang out often. It's very sad. So I'm just going that that was kind of, this is kind of a necessary it's really just to make the superstructure more of a sponge and more make it take more shots to kill okay so hopefully that problem's fixed and now I need to actually put a freaking ammo controller somewhere where can we hide it I'm gonna hide it back here because why not? Right, so we can just go here. I forgot what shell I put. I think it was just a I think it was just a squash head. So let's go here. We're gonna take full advantage of the Zenu. Delete a module. Go here. Make it here just to start. Whoops, okay, let's go back from here. How big is this gun? 250 millimeters. What size is the shell? Those are one meter shells, so way over here. Do, 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 do. Could just do this. Really could just do that. Or not, or we could not do that. Okay, well, how do we want to balance this thing out? This one, two, five. You know what? Oh crap, didn't mean to do that. See, I don't want to put a flat gun on this because it'll keep blowing up our own missile, so. That'll do, that'll do, 250mm squash head, it's boring, but it'll do. It'll do, pig! Oink, oink. And I believe that's just already loaded. Now we need to stick ammo processors somewhere. By somewhere, I mean right the ding-dang diddly here. the water. Uh, caps lock? The caps lock stop working. Get, get, that was weird. I was hitting, like, uh, 
the key to like make the thing floaty float and it wasn't happening. It just wasn't happening. Alright, let's go here. That's not right. Control mechanisms. Shaft control, you should be in countermeasures, so let's put you there, then select you. This thing's gonna be really expensive no matter what. Right, and now let us turn all of this off and see what happens. And we're just gonna spawn in that thing, uh, which is terrible, and uh, horn's nest. The only thing about the Hornet's Nest is that uh, it's all the IR missiles on it that uh, just kind of tend to ignore uh, any form of decoy. It's annoying. It's very annoying. That is a hell of a decoy though. Bloody hell, look at that. Alright, uh, Lieutenant Easter Bunny. And Captain Kinderegg. I really do like a good decoy that's uh, big. Wow, those mines can actually fly. That's impressive. Alright, this is basically done really like I know I could stick a lambs on it and other stuff like that but I kind of don't want to like yeah like I don't have any idea what to call this thing uh, either so if you got a suggestion for the name of this uh, missile cruiser I guess that's what it is like and like there's totally stuff I could put on the rear of this like there's still like a lot of room in here but for now like, I think that'll do for now. Except for the world's laziest paint job. If you're wondering what that is, uh, it's this. It's just, like, kind of steel grey. And that's it. Actually, since this is stealthy, let's just do that. There we go! Fortunately, the simple weapons uh, don't like doing that. There we go! We've made an emo cruiser. Let's tweak that a little bit. Not my usual uh, fleet colors, is it? And of course, the underside should be red, so let's quickly do that. I just forgot I couldn't do that. And this is where. Whoever told me about the paint sprayer, I still don't remember who you are, uh, but bless you, you are a absolute uh, god amongst uh, people who aren't gods. Not to say that the rest of you aren't really cool and awesome, because you are, and you should give yourself a big hug and a kiss right now. Do it. Don't wait for the video to be over. Do it right now. Borderwise demands it. Sooty demands it. You know when a hairball tells you to do something, you better do it. What are you doing? Have you given yourself a hug and a kiss yet? Being careful to maintain social distancing at all times while doing it? Good. Well done. There we go. There we go. This very red on the side. For no reason then, because I think it could be a cool thing. And I remember, like, again, like, uh, you learn fun things uh, from the comment section. It says, someone told me that this, uh, the reason why the underside of so many ships are red is because of a particular uh, rust-resistant paint that they're covered with. Which is cool, because uh, the way I'm painting this right now would be pretty darn useless, because a lot of the hull that's underwater uh, is not going to be red. So... It's a good thing rust isn't actually a gameplay feature from the devs, because if it was, 
uh, yeah, it uh, the, my ships would rust uh, to pieces very quickly. Probably increase the brush size. In fact, I'm going to do that. Fudge. That's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about. Didn't want that to happen. I'm gonna throw this thing. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna throw this thing against a bulwark and see if it. Probably not. It probably won't win. Let's be honest. It's not armored enough for that. Doesn't have a lambs or anything like that. But who knows? It might do better than you think. Particularly if it, like, disables all the turrets, like, really quickly. That could be cool. about to say, yay, I'm done, and then there's this huge black patch just still there underneath the craft. There we go. Believe it or not, this still is uh, faster than using the regular building paint tool. There's the AI compartment, very conveniently right there, for the convenience of your torpedoes. Cool. Very cool. I do want to highlight the turret a little bit, though. Not like that. Not like that. Like this. I just realized I've inadvertently uh, copied uh, Rob as his paint scheme uh, for his uh, new line of ships. Was not intentional, I assure you. So, uh... How about we do this in my fleet colors instead? There we go. 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 And yes. Yes. Of course, I said I was going to do a lazy paint job, and then what am I doing now? What am I doing now? I'm making this harder than it needs to be. It's because, like, pure black, let's face it, it's a little boring. That's what I've done here. Crud. See, this is so dark, I can't actually see what I'm doing. There we go. A little bit of highlights here and there. How about we do this and just get rid of all the shiny. There we go. Cool, that is a very dark missile cruiser. that'll do actually like there's probably other bits I could do but yeah I think this is done for now this is functional and I just remembered I said I was gonna throw this thing against a bulwark just to see what happens but yeah I'm gonna chuck that on the Steam Workshop as soon as I've come up with a name for it and uh, you lovely people can have a go at it yourself like uh, tweak it however you like uh, download it have a play with it uh, do whatever do whatever uh, your hearts desire because I'm pretty much done with it. It's not as hard as I thought, actually. Is there anything I missed? Yeah, that's basically it, really. Uh, that's all I want to do with it. Could put missile interceptors or something like that on it, but honestly, like, I hate missile interceptors. Like, they're really fiddly to get right. And don't talk to me about SeaWiz. Like, I hate SeaWiz. I just do not have the mind for it. It just does not work for me. All right, now, let's do that. Right, 
first volley of the bulwark has missed completely. And the bulwark is seeming to have a hard time hitting us. He said just as it hit us. There we go, that's bad. Oh god. I think we're gonna win, but it's gonna be a close one. Although we're knocking guns off that, like, really well. What do the mines do? The mines aren't gonna do anything uh, to the Volwark, because the whole underside is metal. Uh, that ECM jammer uh, does a really good job, though. As in, like, holy crap, the thing has... Uh, don't jinx myself. Wow, it's having real trouble hitting us, apart from the APS. Well, I think that'll do, actually. The, like, uh, the crossbones is one thing, because uh, the crossbones, let's face it, is mostly made of wood. Uh, the bulwark is... Uh, specifically designed to shoot armored things in the face, so that's a different story. So yeah, there's uh, there's our cruiser, such as she is. It's just uh, totally gonna get a little screenshot right here, uh, just for giggles, and yeah, that's uh, what it looks like. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, support me on Patreon if you like, it really helps. Thank you to all my current Patreon supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Let's build! I need to figure out what we're going to be building next. Farewell!